The Rise of a Television Giant, Dumaka and Lovu. Dumaka and Lovu, a name synonymous with South African television, a creative force behind some of the nation's most beloved shows. From the gritty streets of Yizo Yizo to the opulent world of Muvongo, and Lovu's storytelling captivated audiences for decades. His journey began in the heart of Soweto. Driven by a passion for the arts, he rose to prominence, becoming a celebrated playwright, filmmaker, and producer. His work often reflected the realities of South African life, tackling social issues with sensitivity and insight. And Lovu's influence extended beyond entertainment. He was a respected voice in the South African cultural landscape. He used his platform to advocate for change, amplifying the voices of the marginalized and challenging societal norms. Through his work, he inspired a generation of artists and left an indelible mark on South African television. His name became synonymous with quality, creativity, and a deep understanding of the human experience. A Shadow Falls R25 million tax evasion charges. The news hit the South African public like a bombshell. Duma Lovu, the revered television icon, was facing serious accusations, tax evasion, a staggering 25 million rand allegedly owed to SARS. The charges stemmed from a period between 2013 and 2022. SARS accused Ndlovu of misrepresenting his income and his company's earnings. This alleged scheme was a calculated attempt to defraud the government. The accusation sent shockwaves through the nation. Could this beloved figure be guilty of such a crime? Public opinion was divided. Some refused to believe the allegations, standing by their cherished storyteller. Others felt betrayed, questioning everything they thought they knew about the man. The case quickly became a media sensation. Newspapers ran headlines detailing the accusations. Talk shows buzzed with speculation. The nation watched, captivated, as the legal drama unfolded. Inside the allegations misrepresented returns and tax advisors. At the heart of the case lay Ndlovu's tax returns. SARS alleged that these documents painted a misleading picture of his financial affairs. His reported income, they argued, didn't match the reality of his earnings. The investigation focused on Nlovu's company, Ambrobright. SARS claimed that the company's profits were significantly underreported. This alleged discrepancy, they argued, pointed to a deliberate attempt to deceive the authorities. Adding another layer to the case was the role of tax advisors. Two individuals, Rodney Mucherini and Maxwell Malloy, were accused of aiding Ndlovu in his alleged scheme. These tax practitioners, SARS claimed, knowingly assisted in misrepresenting Ndlovu's financial records. The prosecution argued that Mucherini and Malloy played a crucial role in the alleged fraud. Their expertise, they claimed, was used to create a complex web of deceit designed to keep Ndlovu's true income hidden from the authorities. The Price of Freedom, Ndlovu's Bail and Strict Conditions Following his arrest, Ndlovu appeared before the Specialized Commercial Crime Court in Palm Ridge. The prosecution pushed for his detention, arguing that he posed a flight risk. Ndlovu's legal team countered, emphasizing his strong ties to South Africa. The judge ultimately granted Ndlovu bail, setting it at 100,000 rand. However, his freedom came at a price. Stringent conditions were imposed to ensure his appearance in court. And Lovu was ordered to surrender his passport, restricting his international travel. Contact with any witnesses involved in the case was strictly forbidden. Additionally, he was required to report to the Santon police station weekly. These conditions underscored the gravity of the charges against him. The court, while acknowledging his presumption of innocence, sought to mitigate any potential risk of flight or interference with the legal process. Section 5. Partners in Crime, Co-Accused Tax Practitioners Face the Music The charges against Nlovu's co-accused, Mucherini and Maloyi, added a new dimension to the case. These tax practitioners faced the full force of the law, accused of complicity in the alleged tax evasion scheme. Both men maintained their innocence. Their defense argued they provided professional advice based on Ndlovu's information. Any discrepancies were claimed to be unintentional errors. The prosecution argued their expertise made them crucial players in the scheme. Their trial ran parallel to Endlevu's, each facing their own charges. If found guilty, they could face hefty fines or imprisonment. Section 6. Enlovu's defense a claim of innocence and reliance on advisors. Throughout the legal proceedings, Enlovu maintained his innocence. He vehemently denied any wrongdoing, 
claiming that he had always strived to comply with South African tax laws. His defense team argued that any discrepancies in his tax filings were unintentional errors, not deliberate acts of fraud. They emphasized Nlovu's reliance on his tax advisors, arguing that he trusted them to handle his financial affairs responsibly. They painted a picture of a busy creative professional, deeply involved in his work and leaving the complexities of his finances to trusted experts. Any mistakes, they argued, were the result of oversight, not malicious intent. His defense team also highlighted Nlovu's contributions to South Africa. They pointed to his philanthropic endeavors and his commitment to social justice, arguing that these actions were at odds with the image of a calculated tax evader. Section 7. Tax Evasion, a National Scourge Haunting South Africa And Lovu's case shone a spotlight on a broader issue plaguing South Africa tax evasion. The country grappled with a culture of non-compliance, particularly among wealthy individuals and corporations. This widespread evasion deprived the government of crucial revenue needed to fund essential services such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure. The consequences were dire, hindering economic growth and exacerbating social inequality. SARS, determined to tackle this issue head-on, had stepped up its efforts to crack down on tax evaders. High-profile cases like Nlovu's served as a stark warning to those seeking to defraud the government. The outcome of Nlovu's case held significant implications for tax enforcement in South Africa. A guilty verdict would be seen as a victory for SARS, demonstrating that even the most prominent figures were not above the law. Section 8 tarnished legacy, the impact on Nlovu and the entertainment industry. Regardless of the trial's outcome, Nlovu's legacy had been irrevocably tarnished. The accusations alone cast a long shadow over his career, calling into question his integrity and his commitment to social responsibility. The entertainment industry was divided, some rallied behind him, expressing their unwavering support, others distanced themselves, concerned about the potential damage to their own reputations. The case served as a stark reminder of the fragility of fame. Inlovu's fall from grace demonstrated that even the most celebrated figures were not immune to the consequences of their actions. The impact on the television industry was undeniable. Inlovu's absence was felt, as productions he was involved in were either put on hold or continued without his creative input. Section 9. The Trial Ahead. Unraveling the Truth of the Matter. As the trial date approached, anticipation mounted. The courtroom became a battleground for truth, with both sides presenting their cases and calling witnesses to support their narratives. The prosecution meticulously laid out their evidence, aiming to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Ndlovu had deliberately evaded his tax obligations. They presented financial records, expert testimony, and witness statements to bolster their case. Ndlovu's defense team countered with equal vigor, they challenged the prosecution's evidence, highlighting inconsistencies and presenting alternative explanations for any discrepancies in his financial records. The judge, tasked with the weighty responsibility of presiding over the trial, listened intently to both sides. Their decision, based solely on the evidence presented, would determine in Lovu's fate. Section 10. The stakes are high potential outcomes and lasting consequences. The stakes of the trial were incredibly high for all involved. For Andlovu, a guilty verdict could result in a hefty fine, a lengthy prison sentence, or both. His reputation, once a shining beacon, would likely be irreparably damaged. An acquittal, on the other hand, would allow him to walk free and attempt to rebuild his life and career. However, the shadow of the accusations might linger, forever tainting his legacy. The outcome also held significant implications for SARS and the fight against tax evasion in South Africa. A guilty verdict would be a major victory, demonstrating their commitment to holding tax evaders accountable, regardless of their status or influence. An acquittal, however, could raise questions about their ability to effectively prosecute high-profile cases, potentially emboldening others to engage in tax evasion. Section 11. A lesson in accountability, the importance of tax compliance. The Dumaka and Lavu tax evasion case served as a stark reminder of the importance of tax compliance. It highlighted the crucial role that taxes play in society, funding essential services and promoting economic growth. The case also underscored the consequences of tax evasion, not only for individuals, but for society as a whole. 
when individuals or corporations fail to pay their fair share, it undermines the principles of fairness and justice. And Lovu's case, regardless of its outcome, served as a cautionary tale. It reminded everyone, regardless of their status or profession, of their obligation to comply with tax laws. The case sparked a national conversation about tax morality and the importance of individual responsibility. It served as a catalyst for greater awareness of tax laws and the consequences of non-compliance.